Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to modify a GameCube, I'm sorry, a Nintendo Wii game. I'm using the Dolphin emulator today, and I'm going to be modding My Life is Kings. I'm going to be changing the attributes of my warriors that I have acquired during the game. My name is Splinter Craig, and you've just been informed. <laughs> okay. So right here I'm loading up the Dolphin. Uh, the, when you load up the Dolphin, you have to find your save. So I believe that's one of the first things I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, go to Wii. Then I'm going to go to uh, User. Then I'm going to go to Title. And there's three folders. The first one I know what the, it does. The second one is for Wii games, the full games. And the third one is for Wii, IS, uh, Wii Wear games. The usual 30 to 50 MB games. You have to search... the 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 hardest part of this is searching and finding your file in order to do that there's a method where you have to have hex editor you go to a file you click on the file and there should be a folder in there called banner you go to uh, we hex editor and once you open the file up you should see the title of the game in the right hand column of the hex editor which I will demonstrate in a few ticks okay uh... the problem i'm having here is i've loaded the wrong file and i just remembered like now that i can go ahead and find the file off back so i click back okay and i try to remember what number my file was and i remembered it it was somewhere over up in here there it is now i'm going to demonstrate banner right here so what you do is right click on banner wait for this guy he's the slowest man in the world open up the hex editor and you should see the title of your name right, game right there the, the name of the game right there in the first section of the file you don't have to scroll down or anything or type anything extra there's the title alright right now I'm going go, to go back and show you uh, my current stats of my warriors and my life is keen. Uh, let's give it a tick. There it is. Click it. There you go. Um, you can also do this on the original Wii. You just have to find a way to get to your save files and load them to your PC. And you can use this method to uh you know, mod, mod the game you want. Let's wait for it. My Life is King. This is a pretty decent game. A lot of people don't like it, but... Most of the people say they don't like it. They haven't played it. They just seen a YouTube video of it. It's actually pretty good. It's like a simulation. It's perfect. Perfect game for me right now, anyway. Alright, so what do you want to do here? See, I only have two characters, but the more characters you have, you're going to want to let them level up a little bit, acquire some money, acquire attributes and vitality, strength, and all that good stuff. That way it'll be easier to mod them. So let them get to about level five or six. <clears throat> so, okay, right here you want to write down everything that you can, that you want to mod. Not the name, but the gill. You want to write down the amount of gill. You want to write down the amount of strength, dexterity. You want to write down the amount of intellect, toughness, willpower, agility. You want to write all them dis digits down. So later you can find them inside the hex editor. And do this for all of your warriors. Right now I only have two, but... Yeah. I only did it for one, really. But I went back and did that. You'll see later on, anyway. Anyway... This is not important right here. Once you write it down, then I don't know why I'm taking so long. I must be explaining something else. I'm using Cam Studio to record this, and I found that the audio was absolutely not synced with the video. So I got to do use Windows Media Maker to record the audio over. What I'm doing right here is I'm loading the data zero. Do not worry about data one, data two. Don't worry about uh, Arch 
or anything banner you want to go to data zero that was that is where all your information for your warriors are held now you want to open that up with a hex editor Let's wait for this guy, Mr. Slow. Oh, I had to find the file again because I've closed the folder by mistake. And I'm looking for the file and I found it. Okay, you want to open up Data Zero. As I mentioned before, don't worry about any other files. They hold no information useful to our modding. Just open up Data Zero and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I said open up Data Zero! Open up data zero. Da data zero, dummy. Data zero. I'm looking at it right there, dude. All you have to do is go up, right click, and open it up with a hex editor. That's all you got to do, boy. That's all you got to do now. I'm boy taking so long, man. Whatever the right hell. There you go, data zero. There you go. That's the number one. Oh, yeah. Da. Go ahead. No, wow. 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 What the hell was I saying right here? I wonder. I must be displaying a lot of good shit that I'm not explaining right now because <laughs> wow there you go okay okay first thing you want to do is go to tools and open up a base converter get familiar with this program is what I'm saying right here because yeah get familiar go to base converter <clears throat> now you have hexmo and decimal. The decimal is the digits we want to type in. So for our character, we have 173. All right, this is the second part. I wanted to show you that you also got to get the, uh, the 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 second character. You have the warrior you want to do. You also have to write down his information, his amount of guild, his strength, his everything. Then you want to go to the hex editor and find the values of your warriors. First thing you want to do is go to tools, then you want to go to base converter. Now once you're inside base converter, there's two uh, uh, search spaces. One is hexadecimal, one is decimal. Decimal is where you put the amount of money of your warrior. Let's wait while this guy uh, do stuff over here. Okay, back to the base converter like I was doing. Type in a decimal of your money that you want that you want for your character. I probably already did it right there. Let's see. Uh, is he gonna type anything? Yes, he's typing in the amount of money. So let's say it's 263. You see, it's four-digit code. You only have to catch copy the the four the last four digits of that hex code. When you copy it, then go to edit, go to find, and go to paste. Paste it into the search bar. The first search bar that you can paste into. Once you paste it inside there, make sure it's a hexa and make sure it's all instances are clicked. Hexa right there and all instances boxes ticked. Alright, so I made a mistake and uh, lost my save file and I already edited it to 999. So right here I'm, I'm, edited, I'm editing 999. So let's just use 9999 as the money of our first warrior we're going to edit. So once I find 99999, I look for the, uh, look where it says money right there. And it's and it you always count eight decimals uh, spaces away from the name of the thing you wanted to mod. So right now we have money. I think that's what I'm looking for right now. Is the money? I wish I could see it. It's so small. I can't see. That looks like money. So <clears throat> that's our value for money right now. Nine nine nine. We're gonna change it to nine 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 just as uh just as a proof of concept. And that's what I'm doing right here. You see, that's the hexadecimal. You want to change that into the hexadecimal uh, value. That that would then, in turn, change the money in game to whatever the hexadecimal uh, digit you wanted. And try not to exceed four digits because I had a trouble with that in Fable. If you exceeded too many digits, it'll corrupt the save. And I don't know if it does it here. All right, right here, uh, I'm finding the attributes: the strength, the toughness, the vitality. You know. Uh, I just noticed that this is not for the female Jamie, but this is for the male. And I, I also noticed that your warrior data are one after another. So first you have your first warrior Hopkins, your second warrior uh, Jamie. It will say it will say female, it will say male. And then your your fourth war your third warrior Nigel, your fourth warrior uh, Randolph. They're all right there. So you can actually go through and look how I'm doing it right here. 
where it says str that's strength vit that's vitality and there's that i think those are only two that uh, are self-explanatory